Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! Hey, you guys. Happy Monday. Happy Black History Month. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Cash your checks and come on. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome to another episode, honey, of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. So I want to come on here and do a podcast, okay, about this Wendy Williams situation. When I tell you Wendy Williams has just been trending for like the past few days, this weekend was all about Miss Williams, honey. She dropped her Lifetime movie, and then she had a series after the movie where she cried nonstop, had a Q-tip to her inner corners of her eyes. Um, that was called Wendy, What a Mess. I don't live hot topics. She couldn't forgive an affair, but an affair with the baby, that's it. This is the culmination of everything. Everything, everything. So, you know, it's been a lot of stuff leading up to this, honey, and, I, and I'm here for it all. One thing I do love is a lot of the stuff before the movie even came out, the whole Wendy Williams story, is that Wendy went on a lot of hobo tours. And she went on a lot of these hobo tours. And she honestly made me feel a lot better about my journalism, my integrity, and my, you know, my intuition and shit. You know what I'm saying? She confirmed a lot of stuff for me. So Shout out to Wendy for that shit. That lets me know that I'm somewhere on her level. Maybe not there yet because she's the queen, but I'm, you know, I'm trying to get there, honey. I'm speed walking. So anyways, if you guys do not know, Wendy Williams recently sat down with E and she did an interview with them. And in that interview, she basically confirmed Everything I was saying back in 2017 about Sharina Hudson. If you guys don't know, I had did a video way back then. And it was called Wendy Williams husband is still seeing his side piece and it looks like she's knocked up. Yes, honey, that was the title. You know, I have no shame. So anyways, that was the title. I talked about my suspicions looking at Sharina. So I want you all to go ahead and watch this flashback or listen to this flashback. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Hunterville. It looks like all is not well in damn Huntersville because according to the Daily Mail, they're back and they're showing more receipts showing that Kevin Hunter has not stopped cheating. He has not stopped associating with his side chick. And uh, she kind of looks like she's knocked up and she's also wearing that same big ass ring that she was caught wearing back in September. So something ain't clean in the buttermilk, bitch. They literally took a picture of him the other day climbing out of his red luxury Bentley SUV and uh, Miss Sharina was rocking a huge ring on her damn finger, a huge diamond ring. You know what I'm saying? She looked a hot damn mess, but she did have a huge ring on her finger. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that damn side chick looks like she might be a few months pregnant, okay? Her belly's definitely not flat, okay? So <laughs> All right, so y'all just heard that flashback. So I'm over here minding my black business, honey, watching all these Wendy hobo tours. And so... She basically confirmed everything I had stated in 2017, where she confirmed that her husband, Kevin, a.k.a. Kelvin Hunter, had knocked up Sharina prior and that the baby that she had in 2018 was not her first child. So y'all go ahead and check this out. This was an interview that she did three days ago. This is what a smart girl does. She's playing the role of being the loving wife who, oh, I might be strong, but I would never leave you. I need you. In the meantime... You know, the P.I. was following them on vacation. The P.I. followed her to her G.Y.N. appointments. The P.I. ended up finding out that the girl was pregnant. This was not her first time being pregnant, but this is her first. Ba- but this is her first baby having with him. Um, the P.I. Um, found out quite a bit. Then I was able to dismiss the P.I. because then you all helped me. 
All right, so you guys just heard Wendy spilling that tea, honey. So, yes, Sharina Hudson was knocked up in 2017 when I had stated that. Um, I don't know if she had a miscarriage or she had an abortion, but either way, the side daughter is here, and she's doing well, you know, and Wendy has basically, you know, tried her best to move on from that situation. So I watched the movie, and a lot of people wanted to know my thoughts on it. I feel like I did learn more about Wendy Williams. You know, um, there was a lot of things I did not know about her background. I learned more about her family, um, her siblings. And she seems like she comes from a very tight knit, close family. I mean, the fact that her parents were married for years says a lot. But I also loved how open and honest she was in that movie. Everything from the date rape scene that she went through um, to her coke habit. Like, nothing was off limits. Like, she kept it real and showed how much she was addicted to that damn booger sugar, okay? So I thought that was very interesting. But it was also interesting to watch a woman, and especially a black woman, really, you know what I'm saying, set her own trends, pave her own way, and say, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do something that makes me stand outside the box. I'm going to sit here and not make people comfortable, not kiss celebrities' asses. I'm going to just, you know, have basically take kitchen talk conversation that we have with our girlfriends at the house, at the salon, and bring it to radio. Up until then, that hadn't been done. Everything was really classy, demure, kissing the celebrities' ass, you know, um, making them have a particular image. And Wendy didn't care about that. She asked the questions that people wanted to know. And either you could handle that as a celebrity or you couldn't. And she made no bones about that. And I, and I respected that about her. Was it messy? Absolutely. Was it dangerous? Absolutely. But one thing I'll say is that she stood in her shit. Even when Total came up there to jump her, that was funny. You know, they came up there to jump her because she was running her mouth. You know, a lot of people were after Wendy back then because she was speaking a lot of truth. But it also showed me watching that movie how much of an impact Kevin had in her life and how much work he put in. And that was one of the things that I reiterated is that when you've been with somebody that long, it's not even so much just a regular marriage. It's a business partnership. And he was really there from the beginning. And that's what I was trying to reiterate to people that she can't just fling him to the woods and wipe her hands of him. They are tied together business wise. He was her manager. He helped get her her TV show. You know, he had a lot of strong arm bullying tactics. But when it was said and done, he played a big part in getting Wendy Williams to where she's at. She had the persona. She had the personality. She had the forethought. But as far as business, he made that happen. So I'll never take that from Kevin. Even though he's a damn serial cheater who has side babies on Wendy, I'm not going to take his accolades from him from the shit that he did damn do, okay? I won't do that. So I thought that was a very interesting aspect, you know, to see a lot of the things that he did to encourage her and how he had her back and, you know, things like that. So those were some of the good things. But there was a lot of tea that I wasn't expecting, okay? One, I didn't know she hooked up with... Eric B from Eric B and Rock him, honey. I was very surprised about that. I didn't know about that. So when she was talking about how, you know, he was basically banging her guts out and, you know, using her for her money, using her to rent a car. So that was really funny that she put that out there. I thought that was cool. Now, Mr. Eric B, he calls himself trying to, you know, refute what Wendy Williams is saying. So he took to social media and he basically posted a photo of himself. I'm um, a throwback photo. In front of what looks to be a Rolls Royce with the license plate that says Eric B. And he says, damn, I need a rental. Then he goes on to say, too hilarious. I watched it. But the truth is something different. Try that. So that is what Mr. Eric B. had to say about his sex scene with Wendy Williams. So he's definitely in his feelings, honey, and trying to show folks that he had money in a damn Rolls Royce way back then. Okay, sir. Okay, sir, just be happy you were trending and, you know, the new generation knows who you are because I, I, I totally forgot until watching this damn movie and I'm grown. So, yeah, I think, you know, that part was like really interesting to see that dynamic of it. Now, another thing that really surprised me in the Wendy Williams movie is I didn't know she had all of those miscarriages. You know, like when we were growing up, we didn't get New York radio. I didn't really get put on to Wendy until the early 2000s when I finally got a computer and got Internet. 
So, you know, at that point with the Internet, you could hear different radio stations um, around the country. And I remember being like on different forums, like black forums, like Black Planet and and, you know, the BT dot com forums and stuff like that. And people would talk about, you know, like what radio station is popping in your neck of the woods? What radio station is popping in your city? And most of the people from the East Coast were always talking about the Wendy Williams show, um, Russ Parr. It was like a lot of these black radio shows that, honey, we didn't get in the Midwest. So all we had was KDW Dan B with Dave Ryan in the morning. Shout out to his ass. So that's all we had. We just had white ass KDWB. So I would go online and I would listen to a lot of these East Coast radio shows, which was just so dope then. That was like in the early days of the internet. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers. To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned in or anchorfm.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.